Hey, what's up guys, Mendel here. So today we're gonna check out all bass plugins from Impact Studios by using my song, my latest song even, The Ionian Shift. Here we go. Okay, so here we are in the project in Cubase in, the, in my latest single, The Ionian Shift. And for this song, I use the Inferno bass, but as you can see, I loaded up all the ones from uh, Impact Studios. So what Impact Studio Basie is, they make amazing bass plugins. In my opinion, they are amazing, uh, especially for rock metal kind of stuff. So we'll dig into that later. So I'll first show you this part of the song, uh, then I'll solo uh, the bass I used for this song, and then we can go through all the other ones. So here we go. So, sounds pretty amazing in my opinion. This bass plugin was also very inspiring to write this riff because I really like how that bass plugin sounds. We're playing like, um, let's say like Meshuggah like notes and stuff or Meshuggah timings and stuff. So as you can see, um, I loaded up all of them. So we have the Inferno bass and the I means just the I of the bass and Pro is like a preset or like a pre-mix with a bit of distortion already baked in. So we have the Inferno Pro, and uh, then you have the Nuclear one, also Pro, and then you also have the Avalanche uh, Pro. Something went wrong with my computer loading that one up, but here you can see the picture nice with the DI. So what I thought was a cool idea is um, I'll mute these uh, MIDI parts and uh, I'll take off the processing. I won't go into depth on the the mixing of the bass in this video, it, it's mostly to showcase how good these things are. So I'll unmute uh, all of these. This in my opinion will be an objective view to which one you like best. Here we go. So that's that. So what we can do now is I'll use the arranger uh, right here. So we can just listen to the DIs. So let's do that again. So to my ear, the Inferno one is the brightest, and that's what, in my opinion, worked best for this song. So now let's do the same thing with uh, the distorted tones. Let's do it again. Pretty sick in my opinion. Okay, and now let's take a listen to the DI ones with uh, the processing I did on the Inferno uh, for this song. So it wouldn't be like a very fair comparison because per bass I would maybe change some things, but I thought it would be a cool idea to have the exact same settings on all of these bass, um, bass DI's. So again, I'm gonna load up all the DI's for the loop. And now you hear the DI's with the processing I did with the same settings for the actual song. Let's 
take a listen again. And now actually listening to this, I think maybe the nuclear one uh, would have been better for this song. But I'm not going to remix the whole thing now. Okay, so now we can take a listen to all the basses. I did a tiny bit of processing on the, on the pro ones as well for some extra fatness. And again, I'll dig into that whole mixing stuff for the bass later. But now we can have a fair comparison. So here we go. So the cool thing I heard was that the Nuclear DI really popped out. More so than the actual one I used in the, in the actual song. Yeah, I really like that. Wish I've used that in the song. Anyway, so that's basically it. The bass plugins from uh, Impact Studios. Inferno, Nuclear, and Avalanche. Avalanche or Avalanche. I'll pop them in the screen like this. One, two, three. How cool is that? Magic. Pure magic, man. I don't know how I do it. I don't know how I do it. Anyway, hope you liked this video. Press the thumbs up button. Subscribe. And let me know what you want to see in the next video. Oh, ho hold up. Before I forget, don't forget to check out this song on Spotify, The Ionian Shift, featuring the Inferno bass. Anyway, my name is Mendel. See you next time. Cheers.